this very first edition of Coffee Break Spanish. As we've already said, my say, name is Mark. I'm learning Norwegian. You would say, Yeah, ici à Paris, voilà la tour Eiffel. Et nous allons passer in weekly lessons, we'll be covering all the language that you need to know. And we'll be taught by the French and native speakers. And talk about yourself so you can make friends with native speakers. On the 18th of October 2006, we published the very first episode of Coffee Break Spanish. Very few people knew what a podcast was, and we had no idea at that stage how things would develop. Fast forward 15 years, and we now deliver millions of free language lessons through our online content every single month. In today's event, we're going to be looking back at the past year and also looking forward because we're excited to be announcing some new content for language learners like you. Since this is a live event, please let us know in the comments where you're watching from, which language or languages you're learning, and we'd love to hear what you think of our announcements. Of course, I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have about today's event after our main presentation. Before we start looking forward to the coming months and to our new developments in 2022, I'd like to take a look back at the past year. Despite the restrictions, which for 18 months have significantly changed how we create content, we've published hundreds of new lessons across our seven main Coffee Break Languages podcasts and videos. Since this time last year, we've seen over 23 million downloads or streams of our language lessons. And if a typical coffee break lasts around 15 minutes, this means that every 15 minutes of every hour and every day over the past year, around 650 language learners all over the world are learning a language with us at any given moment. And that's quite mind blowing. Here on YouTube, our channel has continued to grow, and this year we've launched our Q&A series where the Coffee Break team answers your questions about French, Spanish, Italian, German and Swedish. Now, we'll be returning with more Q&A videos soon, but in the past year alone, over 70,000 hours of Coffee Break video content have been watched on our channel. On the Coffee Break Academy, where you can access our full courses for each language, over 300,000 lessons have been completed in the past year, and we've welcomed over 15,000 new students to the Academy. We hope that you're continuing to enjoy our courses, our videos, and our podcasts. While for many of us, practicing our language skills and location has been more of a challenge in the past 18 months, we've mastered the art of virtual travel and have taken millions of learners on virtual journeys through the German Alps, the green hills of Tuscany, along the coast of northern Spain, and, and much more with our Travel Diary series. These have been some of our most popular episodes ever, and we'll be back with further Coffee Break Travel Diaries next year. Earlier this year, we also launched our new Adventures newsletters. On the first of every month, We've been publishing a roundup of the latest news, along with cultural information, reading texts in the, the language you're learning, and some kind of activity or puzzle to keep you busy on your coffee breaks. The response to the Adventures newsletter has been fantastic. And if you'd like to take a monthly adventure with us on your coffee break and receive our French, German, Italian, Spanish, Swedish or English newsletter, just sign up at coffeebreaklanguages.com slash newsletter. Our aim here at Coffee Break Languages is to help you maximise the time you have available and learn whenever you have a moment free. Be that on a coffee break, at the gym, walking the dog or, or on the train. And one of the key ways in which we aim to do this 
is by providing regular language learning content on social media, meaning you can take an espresso coffee break with us anywhere, anytime. I'd like to ask my colleague Flora to tell you a bit more about this now. For us here at Coffee Break, social media plays a key role in helping us keep in touch with our community. It's my job to look after our social media accounts. So if you've engaged with any of our content in recent years, you probably interacted with me at some point. We have a combined following of over 300,000 language learners on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. And it's really rewarding to be able to engage with our community and assist people all over the world across these different platforms. We really appreciate every like, comment and share, and we endeavour to reply to every direct message that we receive. On our French, Spanish, German, Italian and Swedish Facebook pages, we publish posts every Monday, Wednesday and Friday to help complement your language learning with vocabulary, grammar and cultural topics. We also share two weekly posts on our growing Coffee Break English Facebook page. Over on Instagram, we share behind the scenes snapshots of the team, plus weekly posts based on idiomatic expressions and simple vocabulary. It's always great to see you engaging with this content and practicing your language skills in the comments sections. On Twitter, we share all of our new podcast episodes, highlights from our archive of hundreds of podcast episodes, plus coffee break news and updates. We love using social media as a tool for language learning, and it's great to see that so many of you do too. Thanks, Flora. We love seeing your comments, posts and stories about how you're making your downtime into your do time on social media. Like many companies, we've been working from home for the past 18 months, but we're gradually getting back to more of a hybrid form of working. In the past few weeks, it's been fantastic to be back together with the team for various projects and even more so in our new home, Coffee Break HQ. We've moved to new premises and have created audio and video studios where we'll be making new content for Coffee Break learners. We can't wait to share all this new content with you. Now, today's event is not just to tell you about our new studios or even just to celebrate our 15th birthday. It's time to talk about some of that new content. And let's begin with German. Coffee Break German launched back in 2013, and many of you have followed the whole series from season one through season two, and then on to our magazine and our travel diary series. We've interviewed native speakers in Coffee Break German to go, and answered your questions in the Q&A video series. But it's time to take things a stage further. So I'm delighted to announce today the launch of Coffee Break German season three. Let's find out more with my Coffee Break German co-host, Andrea. Hallo Andrea, wie geht's dir? Mir geht es wunderbar, danke. Und dir, Marc? Mir geht's auch sehr gut, danke. We're delighted that you're able to join us today for this special event. Um, let's tell all our viewers a little more about Coffee Break German Season 3. What are we going to be learning in Coffee Break German Season 3? Ja, sehr gerne, thank you. Uh, it's very, very exciting for me to talk about Coffee Break German 3. Uh, of course, we're going to uh, start where we stopped in Coffee Break German 2. So it's going to be a very smooth transition into the new series. I think listeners will even recognize some of the topics because uh, they've, we've spoken about it before. And it gives them an opportunity to practice a few things and just to reactivate their memories. But the, the content that we're going to be learning, the, the new grammar topics and so on, we're going to be taking things a little further, aren't we? We're going to be doing some advanced German. Yes, absolutely. So once we have had uh, quite a smooth start, we're going to take it up a notch and we're going to learn new things that maybe we have mentioned before. Uh, but we have never looked at in detail. So I think uh, listeners can look forward to learning some very interesting new grammar. Excellent. Now, in each episode, we're going to spend the first half of the episode talking about the, the grammar point or the particular language area that, that we're focusing on. And then the second part of the lesson involves something else. Can you explain that? Yes, this is actually so nice. Uh, we're going to see uh, the language that we've looked at in context, in the context of a conversation or maybe a letter or a, a monologue. So it's going to be really nice to see uh, the language in action. 
and we'll be hearing different voices with different accents. Um, obviously, you'll be involved, but we've also got some some new colleagues here at Coffee Break German to help us with those dialogues too. Perhaps we could listen to one of them now. So today we have been looking at different words which follow certain patterns and help us identify whether they're der words, d words or das words. And we're going to see them, as Andrea explained, in a conversation which features two people in a museum talking about art. Ja, genau. Also, Vorhang auf für Gundula und Karl. Right, so we've got Gundula and Karl talking about art. Let's hear what this conversation has to offer. Ich bin froh, dass wir noch Tickets für die Ausstellung bekommen haben. Ja, das wollte ich unter keinen Umständen verpassen. Was für eine Gelegenheit, diese Kunstwerke zu betrachten. Genau. In meinem Studium hatte ich die Möglichkeit, eine Ausstellung von diesem Künstler in München zu sehen. Das war in einer kleinen Galerie mit anschließender Diskussion mit dem Künstler. Wirklich? Toll. Gab es da auch Kritik? Seine Arbeit ist ja teilweise etwas kontrovers. Ja, natürlich. Manche Leute haben die Botschaft, die er mit seiner Skulptur aus Kupfer formuliert hat, nicht verstanden. Also diese Skulptur gefällt mir wirklich sehr. Leider ist sie gerade in Reparatur. Jemand soll sie im letzten Museum beschädigen. So you get the idea. We'll be hearing different dialogues, different voices, different speeds of German, but all of this very much authentic German, and we'll get to build our vocabulary, build our understanding of these new grammar points through this authentic context. Okay, uh, das reicht für heute. Is that it for today then, Andrea? Äh, noch nicht ganz, Mark. Ja, du hast etwas vergessen. What have I forgotten then? Uh, noch eine Kleinigkeit. <laughs> so what's noch eine Kleinigkeit? So, noch eine Kleinigkeit is a part of Coffee Break German Season 3, where we introduce phrases and expressions, uh, very idiomatic phrases and expressions for our learners, and we give a short explanation and maybe a, an example that goes with this. So that happens in, in each episode of Coffee Break German Season 3. And you can find out all about this at coffeebreakgerman.com. Also, wie immer, vielen Dank, Andrea. Danke, Marc. Und, und uh, bis bald. Bis bald, tschüss. The Coffee Break German Season 3 podcast launches this Friday, the 22nd of October, and will be published every two weeks. If you'd like to access Lesson 1 immediately, it will be available today in the Coffee Break Academy, along with a bonus audio episode, a video version of the lesson, and, of course, our comprehensive lesson notes. I am delighted to be improving my German as the learner on the show, and we're really excited to be taking this next step with German. Now, let's turn our attention to another language. And for this, I'll bring on Francesca. Ciao, Francesca. Come stai? Ciao Marco, tutto bene, grazie e tu? Benissimo, è molto contento oggi perché abbiamo una notizia. Sì, una bellissima notizia. Can I say it, Mark? Of course, please tell us all about what's happening. Well, uh, we are really delighted to announce that we are launching Coffee Break Italian Season 3. Fantastic. Okay, so what can we, what can you tell our viewers about what's coming in Coffee Break Italian Season 3? Well, this new season is really all about taking your Italian to the next level. So we will be covering those uh, uh, more complex uh, grammar points, uh, uh, more specific vocabulary, and also looking at uh, linguistic situations which uh, uh, involve, uh, obviously, this type of grammar and uh, vocabulary. Okay, so can you give us an example of the exact uh, types of uh, grammar that we'll be covering? Sì, uh, ad esempio, uh, we will be looking at uh, all the variety of pronouns that we have in Italian, like uh, direct pronouns, indirect pronouns, disjunctive uh, pronouns, uh, and also uh, in terms of verbs, uh, uh, new tenses, uh, new moods. Uh, uh, so there is really a lot to look forward to. <laughs> and will there be a little bit of the subjunctive in there, perhaps? 
Sì, ovviamente il congiuntivo non può mancare. <laughs> Excellent. So in each episode, like in, in German, each, in each episode we'll be focusing on the language, but then hearing that language in a conversation. Tell us a little about the conversations. The conversations can be uh, monologues, uh, dialogues between uh, uh, two persons, and at times we also have uh, conversations between uh, three or even uh, four at times, uh, depending on the, on the scenario and on the topic, on the situation. So we will be covering uh, different topics. Uh, it can be a problem, it can be arranging uh, something, it can be organizing an, an event, uh, all the topics uh, uh, that uh, uh, concern everyday life. Uh, so it's it's everyday Italian, everyday Italian, but a, a higher level, maybe a more native level in a sense. What we'll do now is listen to one of those conversations to give you a feel for what the, the content sounds like. So this is just at the just before the conversation, we'll explain a little what's coming and then you'll hear a little bit of the conversation. <laughs> Welcome back. Today we are talking about direct object pronouns and how they work with compound tenses like the perfect tense and the pluperfect tense and other compound tenses that we've yet to discover on our Coffee Break Italian journey. Now we're going to be listening to a dialogue now and we're delighted to be joined by Maurizio, a member of the Coffee Break Italian team. Francesca, can you tell us a little about this dialogue? Sì, this dialogue uh, is a conversation between uh, three friends, uh, Daniela, um, a woman, and two men, Diego and, uh, and Mirko, okay. <laughs> you've just mentioned, uh, Maurizio being uh, Mirko, and they are preparing uh, a party. So they are going through all the things uh, that they have to do in order to make sure that the, the party goes, uh, uh, goes really well. So it's like a, a checklist uh, kind of dialogue and in this dialogue listen out for those agreements of the past participles following the use of the direct object pronouns you'll hear a number of them in the dialogue allora cominciamo certo allora ragazzi siamo pronti per la festa più o meno ci sono ancora tanti preparativi da ultimare Dobbiamo sbrigarci, non possiamo lasciare sempre tutto all'ultimo minuto. Diego, hai ordinato le pizze? Sì, tranquilla, tranquilla. Le ho ordinate ieri e arrivano oggi verso le otto. Perfetto. Poi abbiamo una torta, giusto? Certo, l'ha fatta mia madre questa mattina. So there you can see we'll be hearing different voices, different accents, different speeds and so on. And that will give you a chance to, to familiarise yourself with, with new types of Italian. Now, these episodes will be going out every two weeks. So our main episode will feature a discussion of the grammar point, the language focus, and then a conversation. But then there's a second element, isn't there, Francesca? Yes, there is a second element in which uh, we will be, let's say, exploring, unpacking uh, the dialogues uh, and we will explain uh, word by word, uh, really, what the conversation uh, is all about. So looking at the vocabulary, uh, explaining uh, the grammar, uh, really uh, detail by, uh, by detail to make sure that everything is 100% clear. Perfect. And then... In between weeks, on the, on the weeks two and four and six and so on, there's also something a little extra. Yes, we have prepared some uh, uh, translation challenges where we have included the grammar explained in every episode, some of the vocabulary as well. So giving our listeners the chance to focus uh, on that particular aspect of the episode. Okay, perfetto. Um, are you excited, Francesca? Very excited, <laughs> and I hope our listeners are equally excited too. Io non vedo l'ora. <laughs> sì, anch'io, anch'io, manca poco. <laughs> so there we have it. Grazie mille, Francesca, come sempre. Grazie a te, Mark, e ciao a tutti i nostri ascoltatori. Like Coffee Break German, Lesson 1 of Coffee Break Italian Season 3 will be available today in the Coffee Break Academy. And the podcast version will be released this Thursday, the 21st of October, and every two weeks after that. As Francesca mentioned, we'll also be releasing a special translation challenge episode in between each main lesson. And uh, this will be available on the Coffee Break Academy, and that's for both Italian and German. 
Now, there's one important thing I have to explain about the Coffee Break Italian and Coffee Break German Season 3 podcasts. We are not going to be releasing these on the normal Coffee Break Italian and German podcast feeds. We know that for many listeners, the content of Season 3 may be a bit too advanced. So we've created two new podcast feeds called Coffee Break German Advanced and, you've guessed it, Coffee Break Italian Advanced. So if you're at this level and you're ready to work on moving on from intermediate German or Italian, simply search for Coffee Break German Advanced or Coffee Break Italian Advanced wherever you get your podcasts. Now, another thing that we need to update you on is La Vérité Éclate Toujours. This is our advanced French course, and of course, it is featuring the one and only Pierre Benoit. Bonjour. Bonjour, Marc. Comment vas-tu? <laughs> Très bien. Comme, uh, comme d'hab. <laughs> comme d'hab. And you're right to mention Elvet because we've kind of reached a critical point. We're at oh, the yeah. end of our third part, episode 30, mm -hmm. and there's been, a, I would say, a, a plot twist because now we really know what this is all about in this, in this kind of a crime novel. Yeah, so La Vérité Cla Toujours is this special course for advanced French learners and it's made up of 40 lessons um, and in each chapter we discover a little more of the story. We're following this story all the way through uh, the, the, the novel and uh, as I say we've got to chapter 30 now and there are 10 chapters remaining and uh, well this is when everything is going to be revealed, yeah? Yes, but Mark, Elvet is not just about the story. It's also a course where you can improve your, your French greatly. And uh, we've got lots of additional material. And we've got uh, the, the notes, obviously, and the atelier linguistique. The atelier linguistique is when we take the, the phrases, the grammar and the expressions used in each episode of, or each chapter of, of La Verité, and then look at how they can be used in, in an everyday sense. Um, learning how to reuse those phrases in everyday language. Um, so that's the atelier linguistique. We also have what we call our, our language study episodes, where we yes. go through the details of every single chapter. Yes, that's the two of us recording and going over really the nitty gritty of, 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 of each chapter, and so that you can learn uh, more vocabulary and enrich your French. Tout à fait. So, la vérité que toujours continues. Um, we are going to be starting part three. No, we are finishing part three. Part We're starting part yeah. four very soon. Um, and uh, you, in the meantime, if you're looking at the, the main materials for this, you can access all of them over in the Coffee Break Academy. And we're just about to do some, some bonuses for right. part three. That's our little update on La Vérité éclate toujours. Très bien. Alors, uh, à très bientôt. So far, we've mentioned German, Italian and French. But what of Spanish? After all, today Coffee Break Spanish turns 15. Well, we're busy working on new materials for Spanish. They're not quite ready yet, but let's hear from Annabel, who will explain a bit more. Coffee Break Spanish Season 5 is on its way. See, sí. lo sé. We are very excited to be working on an um, advanced Spanish course. It will follow on um, Spanish um, season four, and it is based on a story. So you could get to know the characters and also be hooked by the very first chapter. Just like the um, advanced French course, it, it will be like reading a real novel. So you will find all the expressions, vocabulary and grammar that you could find in any book in Spanish that you could find or buy in a bookshop. But with the addition that we will provide some help with explanations, extra material and so on. There will also be some chapters that will be narrative, but others will be like a play. So you will get the chance to listen to some native Spanish speakers from different parts of the world. This looks like a really big project, so it's taking some time to put everything together, but you can look forward to get your hands on this new advanced season of Coffee Break Spanish in 2022. Eso es todo de mi parte. Ahora, a ver qué más tiene Marc para contarnos. Gracias, Anabel. You can indeed look forward to new advanced Spanish content in 2022. When you start learning a language, you move forward through your course in quite a linear way, learning new concepts and building your vocabulary. However, there comes a point when your forward progress slows down because the path has widened and there's more to take in. 
And that's exactly what you need to do. You need to take in everything around you. Uh, you need to extend your understanding by getting as much exposure to the language as possible. And that's exactly where our intermediate courses come in. I've already mentioned the Coffee Break Travel Diaries and our To Go videos series. With these series, you can build your understanding, build your vocabulary and see more examples of what you've covered in our main seasons. Another Coffee Break series, which has been very popular, is our Coffee Break magazine audio show, where we focus on the culture of the countries where the language you're learning is spoken. So I'm excited to announce that the Coffee Break magazine will return for a new series in January 2022 in French, German, Spanish and Italian. Each episode will focus on a text dealing with a person, a place, a dish, uh, an author, a musician and so on. And the texts have been written at a B1 level. We'll listen to the text in each episode, then go through it in detail, helping you understand everything in the text. The podcast episodes will, of course, be accompanied by lesson notes and exercises to help you extend your understanding. So that's the Coffee Break magazine returning in French, German, Spanish and Italian. So far today, we've looked at advanced and intermediate content for French, German, Italian and Spanish. Swedish is also returning soon with lessons 31 to 40, in which we're taking a trip to Sweden to put our Swedish into practice. We're halfway through Coffee Break English Season 2 at the moment, and Season 3 will begin in the new year. Talking of 2022, I can't reveal any more details now, but all I'll say is that you can look forward to at least one new language in the Coffee Break family. And we're very excited to bring you new ways to learn a language on your Coffee Break as we launch the next chapter in our Coffee Break story. That's almost it for today's event, but there's time for one more announcement. Whenever we ask the Coffee Break community how we can best help you with your language learning, the most common answer is practice. You've listened to all our podcast episodes, you've read through our lesson notes and watched all our videos, but the one thing which will help you perhaps more than anything else is the opportunity to put what you've learned into practice. Now, we thought long and hard about this and, and tried to come up with something that would help you do just that. We wanted to create something which would be easy to use, something which would let you spend a little time each day on your language learning, but provide you with new and engaging content so that you weren't just watching the same video again or doing the same reading text. We wanted to ensure that we were able to answer your questions, any questions that you may have about what you're working on. And we wanted all of this to happen in a safe and encouraging environment. Now, for this event today, we invited you to join us. In fact, we're now inviting you to join the Coffee Break Club. Here's Eva to tell you more. We're really excited about launching the Coffee Break Club. The club is going to be a space where you can interact with other learners of the language you're learning, where you can get support from the Coffee Break team, and where you can access extra materials to help you practice your language skills. Every day from Monday to Friday, there'll be new reading, listening, or video activities that you can do whenever suits you, whenever you take your coffee break. There'll also be a more interactive element of the club as well, and you'll be able to get involved with the community by introducing yourself in the language you're learning and take part in discussions with other language learners. You'll be able to practice your writing skills in this way and you'll get feedback on your writing skills from a member of the Coffee Break team. There'll also be a space where you can ask questions, language questions, questions about the culture or anything at all. We've actually been working on the Coffee Break Club for a while now and we've done a trial of this with some members of the Coffee Break Italian community. So I'll hand over to Maurizio now, who's going to tell us a little bit more about this. Thank you, Eva, e grazie a tutti i partecipanti della prova pilota. In the course of three weeks this summer, we invited learners to take part in discussions, complete reading and listening activities, and enjoy our video content which were all tailored to their level. There was great interaction between the Coffee Break Italian team and the learners, and especially among learners. It was exciting to see learners 
use their language to interact with each other as much as possible. The trial had a very successful run and we are delighted with the way in which learners enjoyed using the club. At the end of the trial, we asked learners for feedback and you told us how much you enjoyed the club and how much you learned. We've taken on board your feedback and we can't wait to roll this out across all four languages. The club is an easy to use platform that can enhance your language learning and where you can make the most of your coffee break. It's a space designed for the coffee break community where you can all come together and learn together. And it's the perfect place to get your daily dose of coffee break languages. Grazie. As Maurizio said, we're really looking forward to the launch in French, Spanish, German and Italian. So I'll hand you back to Mark now, who will explain how you can get involved and become a member of the Coffee Break Club. The Coffee Break Club will launch on the 1st of December and it will feature materials for beginners and intermediate learners, covering the A1 to B2 bracket within the European framework of reference. As Eva said, every day of the week from Monday to Friday, there will be a new discussion or reading text or listening activity or video lesson, which will help you spend the length of your coffee break on your language learning. We'll be opening up registration on the 1st of December, but places are limited. If you'd like to become a founding member of the Coffee Break Club in the language you're learning, then you can sign up today to be notified as soon as registration is available. After the initial launch, we'll be introducing new features to the club in 2022, including the possibility of an optional add-on for live lessons with the Coffee Break tutors. That's for down the line, and we'll provide more information about that in due course. The club is also where we're going to be posting the support materials for our short courses like the Coffee Break magazines in the new year. So, for example, if, if you'd like to access the lesson notes and exercises for the next season of, say, the Coffee Break Italian magazine, then simply join the Coffee Break Italian club and you'll be able to access all the bonus content as we publish each episode. And of course, you'll also benefit from the daily activities, exclusive audio and video materials, and all of the support from the team in the club. So to recap, today we've announced the immediate launch of Coffee Break Italian and German Season 3, new magazine shows for French, German, Italian and Spanish coming in January, a new advanced season of Coffee Break Spanish in 2022, and the launch of the Coffee Break Club, the perfect way to get your daily fix of language learning with the expert help of the Coffee Break team. We hope that you're as excited as we are about today's announcements and we can't wait for you to enjoy the new courses and content that we've been working on. There's lots more to come and we hope to continue to share our love of language learning with you in 2022 and beyond. Make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter and that you follow us on social media for all of our latest news and of course subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Of course, behind all of this new content is a fantastic group of people, and I'd like to take the opportunity today to thank the whole Coffee Break team. We have been really busy preparing all of this new content, and we are so excited to be able to release it finally. Music